This isn't about what I've lost. It's about fighting for what I have left. Hey guys, Society Reviews here, my review of the film Elevation. If you're looking for a generic action movie, it doesn't get much more generic than Elevation. Anthony Mackie, who is currently dealing with a near $400 million disaster that we know as Captain America Brave New World, is certainly a notable name in entertainment, but hasn't proven himself to be a leading man in any capacity. Mackie can certainly enhance a film that he's a part of, but the elephant in the room is does he have enough to be a leading man? Unfortunately for Marvel Studios, they will have to learn that lesson the hard way in early 2025. Fortunately for Vertical Entertainment, a studio that is known for significantly smaller budget films, the risk of propping up Mackie's main event status is significantly less, leading us to the sci-fi apocalyptic film called Elevation. The film takes place in a future where monstrous creatures have burrowed from the earth and have begun wiping out the human population. Fast forward three years into the future and 75% of the world has been wiped out by these monsters and the only path of safety seems to be that the creatures cannot travel above 8,000 feet of elevation. This leads us to a small mountain colony in Colorado where Mackie's character, Will, is surviving with a handful of individuals taking care of his sick son. Will's son has an illness that requires him to be constantly supplied with oxygen in order to keep him from dying. After using the last artificial canister that he has, Will has no choice but to travel below elevation into the town of Boulder in an attempt to find more oxygen to keep his son alive. Joining him on his journey is an alcoholic scientist named Nina who is looking for a way to kill the creatures using a special bullet, as well as a girl from Texas who is known for chopping wood and carrying water. These three individuals must descend into a city where they can be targeted by unkillable monsters at any given moment. Elevation is the textbook definition of a filler movie. There's nothing remotely special about the film in its presentation. The opening minute quickly sets the stage for the universe that the characters find themselves in by not showing the origins of the creatures and how fast they were able to wipe out humanity in the first place. The acting of this film is small budget and serviceable. Much like a system quarterback, Anthony Mackie only has one job in the film, and that is get the audience to point A to point B. And that's exactly what he does. Marina Bracarian and Maddie Hudson are also Mackie's co-stars in the film, and both of the women are miscast in the movie as they both come off as women who are playing roles that were originally written for men, but were likely given to them for the sake of diversity, equity, and inclusion. The short runtime works in the film's favor as Elevation succeeds in not overstaying his welcome. The film is basically the perfect time killer. If you have a small window where you're looking to fill and you want to watch something that you haven't checked out before, Elevation is the perfect movie to fill that void. With that said, the movie comes off as something that probably would have played off better on a streaming service such as Netflix or Hulu rather than a feature length movie. If you close your eyes and squint hard enough, you can see elements of other horror movies such as A Quiet Place that inspired the premise of this movie, with the key difference being rather than being tracked by the sound, characters are being tracked by how much CO2 they emit by breathing. When it's all said and done, Elevation is simply nothing more than a glass half full movie. It's not terrible, but it's not great. The best way to describe this film is it's certainly one of the movies that came out this year. I give this film a two and a half out of five. You study something long enough, you can figure out how to kill it. If it doesn't kill you first. Run! <laughs>